weird. I was like, for real, bro. He's got, yeah. When I first met him in 10th grade, bro. Yeah. Well, it wasn't ninth grade. You met me in ninth grade, freshman year. We was in the, um, lock, no, no lock room. We was working out in the thing. With Ron and, yeah. I don't to say that name. Yeah. So, when I first met him, bro, man, I, it took me a minute before I, me and Melo actually just, like, yeah. cool, like, because we was both, like, how we told you. Yeah, we was, we was working, already, yeah. like, like kind of, like, when it come to people, so yeah, we was working out together, so and w so it wasn't really like talk talk. Yeah. So after a while, then after I found out we had went that after went to, we um after ninth grade they usually they t they gave us an envelope. We didn't really know about it, and SECCA gave yeah, us an envelope. Really. Yeah, they literally called me to the front office. Oh, and about DJ, we worked out, bro. We only worked out for like two, one, three months or whatever. After that, for the whole school year, we yeah. did not see each other ever again. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, 10th grade year, I don't know if I'll see DJ face. Yeah. Like, so serious, yeah. bro. So good, yeah. So then, we just happened to, so we ended up going to NCCA. Uh, me and my, uh, me and Melo, and then me and my other friends was lost. Like, this a college or what was going on? We, didn't, we still was understanding what it was. And I found out, we found out we still had to take Spanish, of course. <laughs> And I was walking in the room, and the first person I seen, bro, was looking for people I already knew. Mm -hmm. And I don't even remember nobody other than Gabe. you. Oh, damn, I ain't seen my name. It's straight. So it was only like one other person other than Mello that I really knew, knew. And I can't, cause I can't even remember who's in our class. Dang, my memory is, is tripping right now. I'll probably remember it later on, but right now it was me. And the first thing I see, I said, is that Mello? I couldn't even remember, like, his, I couldn't remember his actual name because it was a minute. It was a lot of people from our school that I expect to be there. Yeah, and then we found out. <laughs> oh, we lost, yeah. That's how we it did. Was like, damn it, oh, it's like, damn it, how we do. And we didn't go to NCCA, I probably wouldn't yeah. know this man. Yeah, like we probably, we, well, we probably we, would have been, we, we we been as close. Well, we wouldn't have been as close because of the classes we took and stuff, really. Yeah. So... But after I seen him, I was like, cause Melo was already like, like I said, he was shy, and I, I didn't like, I didn't like him. Yeah, he didn't either. like talking. And no, it wasn't that. I didn't like him Spanish here. He he made his best, almost messed up with a project. I could not allow this guy. Hey, that's story time. <laughs> story time for another bit, bro. bro so, oh my god, for another bit, bro. But we walk in there, Melo. Dang, I just thought about something. What? You can cut this really out. Mm -mm. No, like what I'm saying, make it into a third video. Oh, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, all this, all this right here. No, like we just made a reaction video. Then the second video. We yeah, this the first part we talking about the makeup, and this reaction video is all going to you. You know how like we just talked about school. Yeah. And meeting each other. We well, can, we this can really turn that into how we met video. I can do that. Y'all can do that too. I can do that too. How we met and. Yeah, we, I can cut that too. I can do a How We Met video and other videos here. I'm gonna do this. Is gonna be a podcast video. I'm gonna do the, this. I'm gonna because I wasn't gonna start till today. This came to my head like just now. Me, us talking. So this, all the stuff we're talking about is gonna be on my Motors with Mellow playlist. Okay. So yeah, this is the episodes and stuff, whatever. So the last one we did another video, and then but yeah, go ahead, go ahead. So the first, so we do we do we do we have this to cook together. The first. No. So what happened was. After we met in Spanish, I was Melo sitting at a, another table, but it was like he was sitting like right. I was sitting right here, and this is the door, like mm -hmm. right here. And then he yeah, was like right, right, right next here, to him, right, right next he was like right across. And but it was four people to a table, mm -hmm. and he was the closest person to the wall, so it was like kind of hard trying to get talk to him until we had special days where well, the tables would collide, yeah. and then our both of our tables would get to know each other, cause. I, I was the only boy at my table, so I was already shy. Cause it's not I'm not scared of girls, bro. But it was like they was already like 11th and 12th grade, and they was like mature for one, and they already they talked about different stuff that I talked about. I ain't wanna come off as weird and all that. And then everybody in the class over here like, what are you on, bro? And so I was just like more like a chill guy, like I sat back, and then 
I was eventually trying to get closer to talking with Melo and then my other friend in there. So both of them was actually sitting at the table together. Bro, you remember Dayla? You talking girl, about Webster? Yeah, me and her was talking or whatever. You gonna end this out or what? Nah, I don't get talk. Okay. <laughs> I got a bro. story time for her, but hey. Bro, um, hey. You know she got bro, she a sincere YouTuber. You, 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 you inspired me a little bit. Yeah, she did. When I was in her videos, you bro, inspired I was, me. <laughs> Y'all want to see the, y'all want to see DJ back in tenth grade? Yeah, go look at bro, my I was, bro. When I was not depressed or sad or anything, but when I was like injured, go subscribe. I don't think I said. Oh, dang, she had sixty. Yeah, bro, I thought she was at forty a couple. Of, dang, she really growing. But yo, I swear she liked me. I swear, she, bro. You gonna edit it, bro? No, I'm not editing it, bro. I'm finna get clout. She, she got, a man. she got a man, bro. Oh. I don't care. Who, you, no, no. Who am I, bro? I swear. I swear, bro. She liked me. I swear she liked me. You want to know? Let me tell you why I know she liked me, bro. Who was the class, bro? She would be dead ass, bro. She was looking at me all the time, be smiling at me like dead ass. I'm so serious with you. Like I'm like I'm no kidding. I don't lie. I'm so serious with you. She, she in the front. I, she gonna probably look at this and be like, I don't know, this. bro. I'm serious, bro. I'm so serious. She used to flirt with me, play with me, bro. And always be coming up to me. I ain't never even came up to her. She used to be coming up to me, you know, trying to say, hey, or hey, what's up to me, yo? For real, And I don't think it was just like a nice, hey, yo, what? Bro, nah. Nah. Oh. Nah. And, yo, when I, I ain't really text her because I didn't really know how to. And I was at a point, I was in my lowest in life, bro. So, me, I'd be, you know, sending hearts on her, posting stories. I didn't too much. But she'll still be, you know, you feel me? Bro, sending some good bodies back. That was, bro, it wasn't no funny joke or whatever. She was following me, always looking at my story and junk. Bro, I swear. If I was like how I am now, bro. That's on the past, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know if I joke. But, um. But, yeah. I'm going to be honest, Dela. You, last time I seen you, when was at that American Dela? I'm not going to say... I don't have beef with you. I'm gonna just say that. But she was acting different. Yeah, I feel like she and did that. I feel it, like I don't blame her for it, but it's yeah. still kind of messed up. And I'm not throwing shots at you. No, I'm, I'm being dead serious. Cause to be honest, you was uh, you was already my friend before, so I'm gonna respect you as my friend still. And I get that the fame is coming up, mm -hmm. but so she feels like she gotta act a certain way. Cause you know a lot of people. I don't blame her for it, but don't lose yourself. I know that you on your but that's, grind. That's not just her. I'm not, you know, funny, but that's everybody. Just don't lose yourself. I respect your grind. I really do. And you kind of inspired me. I'm, I'm going to say that because. Both of us. Yeah. Because after that American Deli, um, when we met, well, we met a co uh, coincidence or whatever y'all want to call it. Um, uh, after that last moment, you said, you inspired me. On a little bit. I'm not going to say what happened. Um, what? I'm going to just keep it rolling. Uh, All right, you got to want to hear it. You got to want to hear it. I would say this. You also got my confidence back up a little bit. When you used to tell me. I like her. Do I little, still like her. Do a little rapping in the class. Yeah, she was. Because you used to tell me to keep going and rap for real. I used to be like, I ain't used to take it serious. Yeah, she really, she really, um, hello, hello, what's up, yeah, uh-huh, and that out, yeah. she really bought the most out of people for real, not, I'm, uh, not like a love, no lovey dummy type of love, but like, I really out of love and respect for her for real, yeah, but I don't, I don't think she acted a certain way, I think she was after herself. Uh, I believe she was. Uh, I believe she still is. Was she? Well, I, I, I me, mean, I ain't really angry with her like that, so I don't know. Compared to the Dayla that I met, and to the Dayla that I met, compared to what she, she was already like at like ten k subscribers when I, when we re met, cause this after she had moved from New, uh, Newton and um, NCCA, so she went back down to uh, I ain't gonna say where, but oh snap. You said our schools, bro. Okay. We ain't say where. Oh, we just said. 
Yeah, we finna graduate. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't going to school, girl. <laughs> <laughs> we straight. Y'all come out here. Y'all gonna get that. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Appreciate it. But back to what we was talking about. So, after we met in sophomore year, we was in class. Melo was chilling to himself, actually. He was, um, I was quiet. No. He was, he was like, he was just like, bro, I'm ready to get out of here, basically. He had that mood on him almost every day. Real? I wasn't really like that. I, just got I told you, you, you had that different vibe. I told you. Okay. Oh, real? So, my serious face was that bad? That's how we met. That was me. So, this is how we met. So, I met Because uh, I used to do like Mello. this. Yeah, you, used to, you was like a. That's the face. That was my normal face, though. That's me. And yeah, and like, like Melo, this, is my, this is my, this used to be my normal face. Hold on. I don't know if I can do it now because I started back smiling. But he used to look like this. <laughs> nah, you did that when you look fierce. Nah, but, but like, it was like. Yeah, not, I don't understand because when people come up to you, it's like, bro, I thought you was like a mean person. Yeah, they thought everybody was like, I'm a mean yeah, person. Like, he like different, but that was my normal face. This is, my, this is like my normal face. Bro. But now I'm starting to smile for it a lot more because I never used to. I used to. <laughs> <laughs> but Melo, because that's what made me, like, like make second opinions. Like, oh, are we still cool with each other? Oh, like, I was like, do we still, do we have beef with each other? I was like, I don't think so. So I was trying to think. But I realized. This one. Huh? Yeah. And I realized that Melo was just that type of person. And I learned that over here the time of the year. Mm-hmm. And then after, once the tables would come together, we would start back talking. Like, oh, um, Melo, you remember when we had practice and all that? I just try to bring up old talk and then see where, how he was acting still. He was chill. He was actually pretty chill. And then he actually started ha- he actually started talking actually with his table mates more. And he had, throughout the year he actually gotten he was still he was he was still talking to himself. Not talking to himself, but like he was to himself. But he was um he grew. Yeah. Over the yeah, years. Yeah, you did too, Except from sophomore You lost hella weight. Well freshman yeah. From freshman to Senior year, he's really changed, bro. He had, we actually been changing. Each, I didn't think changing I would each change. other for the best. No cap. I didn't think I would change. To be honest with you, I didn't either. This happened. I was at tenth grade. Matter of fact, middle school, going into high school, I was at a low point, bro. That's why once I go, DJ, why you look so mean? Smile. Like I had a friend, a female friend, in ROTC, go up to me and said, DJ. You could actually start talking to people and girls if you just smile. You know, I was like, what? At yeah, first, I, really I, was, to push, I really try to help you with that other girl. And I was like, okay. And then after a while, because it was just, I had a lot of stuff going on. And I'm going to say that for a story time. I did too. But that's for another video. I'm going to explain that later. Yeah, we did a lot. We did a lot of talking. Um, um, so, but after we met, I would have, I mean, it was in the hallway. And Melo, he was he looked like he was down, or he was just back at a low point. And I used to tell Melo, I told him this one time, I'm surprised he still remembered it, because I used to bring it up almost like, do you remember what I tell you? And I told him, Melo, you know that you a different type of person, bro? Like, at first, he he, he didn't know what I was trying to say. But I was saying, like, he's not like the average person, like, you go up to just to ask a question, like, be like, oh, okay, cool. He was like one of the first, like, he'd give you straight up answer, and then he'd go, oh, I don't mess with this friend, I don't mess with him. Like, it was simple, like. Let me tell y'all something. DJ, ever since first, even though the first of the year? Rich Guardian 13. Uh, how did you even come with him, man? Why did you do something that's not even related That's for a story to time. That's another story time. Why did you just do something like DJ way? Or like, I don't know, DJ. I'll tell you in the story time. Because we'll be getting like a million subscribers and then they see Rich Guardian 13. You, really, want, the, you really want that name if people call you that? I'll leave that for the story time. But do you really want that name people call you that? When you get like really famous in the world, like people call you Rich Guardian. Uh, let me see. Because if that's the point, that's why you should change it, bro. The reason why I leave Rich Guardian, one is you meet, you meet and plus nobody's going to steal that. Who's going to come up with that? But I'm saying like, if and you do, two, once I get bigger, people going to go, you know which garden? Only one. Bro, only when one you and your think about it, in your head, bro. When you in your forties or whatever, and you become Bill Gates status, you want people saying, "Hey, that's Rich Guardian 13. By that, by that time, y'all y'all can't really call me 
RG at that point. Or Rich. I feel like you should change then you should change it to that. RG like, or Rich. RG thirteen or Rich something. I mean I don't know, because I feel like you know, you feel me? But yeah, so DJ has actually Just call me RG, bro. RG, yeah. We just gonna change change the RG. RG, RG will be fine. RG thirteen, bro. RG thirteen. I I like that. Yeah. I like that sound way better. RG thirteen. Alright, yeah. My name RG, bro. I, I, I mean, just said mellow because I'm gonna keep it from my OGs. My name is gonna be Rich Guardian, and I'm a, I, a, I'm not gonna say when, but later on, he if you one of my OG fans, I will probably when I do a giveaway, you have to do three uh credentials, and I probably might put what what's my yeah. original name. That nigga always doing giveaways, but <laughs> ever since I missed DJ, bro, he's always been my number one supporter. <laughs> like I'm so serious, everything what I do, and some things I don't even really do, like I don't have no thought to it. He will always. Support me and stuff without realizing. It. Like I'm so serious. Like he used to always like like he was the first person that I actually felt like I inspired him to really do stuff. And I didn't even know that at the time. Like he would always say like I'm fine. Like people up north like say you tough. Like he always used to like believe. Give that to me, you know. And that's what really helped me a lot to overcome the lowest points of situations. Like when I was. Like I said, I didn't realize it, but looking back on it, it was like you know you feel me crazy. Yeah, bro. Yeah. We should do this video. Um, we should do this video. Is that a wrap up for us? I don't know how we met. No, we've been finished the how we met. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we just talking about.